Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your four month predictions tarot reading. This is a reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this reading will cover the months of September all the way through the end of the year. Again, tarot is not uh, such a strict timeline as astrology, so just keep that in mind and that we're reading the energy of the cards today. I do appreciate all of the support along the way. I really like it when you hit that like button. If you don't mind doing that, just because it helps the reading to reach more people who are looking for it, YouTube can work in mysterious ways, but that like button seems to do something. So if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Those will hit on all areas of life. Mondays are a different style every week. This is a style I, I only do a couple times a year, this particular reading. We don't do these often, so I always look forward to them. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? Guidance for Aries, please. All right. So we'll go month by month here, and then at the end we'll do a couple of Oracle card readings. In September, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Two of Wands, things are about to get interesting, and the Four of Swords. October, you've got the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. November brings in the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Magician. December here, we've got another Ace, the Ace of Swords, the King. Now we have the King and Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and we've got Judgment here to rock things out at the end. The bottom of the deck, this is interesting. So we'll take these three as clarifiers. We've got the Hermit with the Hierophant and the Page of Cups. Now we have, let's see, two, three pages now. Pages are developing energies, but so are Aces. Aces are initiations, they're beginnings. But I want to say too that Hierophant stands out to me because it comes in in the order of the deck right after the Emperor, right after your energy. So I feel like there's something important, but there is a deep spiritual connection too between the Hierophant and the Hermit. So there's something important there. And I'd say the theme for this next cycle, you've got a great love reading, we had a great love story coming in. I would say um, September looks good for love, but I'd say really October You've got great energy for attracting love into October. Um, but with this too, know thyself. You've got it several times here, know thyself. So I feel like things are going to be on your terms here. So we have Virgo, Taurus is here. We've got quite a bit of water. We've got all the elements represented really. And we have, it looks like, four major arcana, major life events showing up. But you've got big transformation too in November. Um, and especially too with the aces that are here. So I feel like you kick things off in the um, the month of September with some sort of a new beginning. And I do feel like too, it's like this energy of going deep down within. It, it, it begins with you. Okay, it all begins with you. So if you're somewhere, you say it was okay. It was, you know, nothing really profound, but it was okay. I feel like here's where things get better than okay. Now for somebody here, you may be meeting a life partner, or if you've been through a breakup, you may find the month of September is just a month of doing you. It's your uh, Jen Hatmaker calls it her me camp. If you ever follow her, I don't really closely, but I know she posts about her me camp when she goes off by herself and just does her own thing. And if you're used to taking care of people or you're that take charge kind of Aries energy, I'm an Aries sun sign, so there's a lot of times where people always say, I never worry about you, but they also don't really check on you a whole lot. So I do feel like with this, you have something here. And I also feel like this is what primes the pump for love in October. I will tell you too, though, you do have reconciliation here. The best month I see for reconciliation is in, in November. So if you break up with somebody or it's recent in September, um, I do feel like in November, it's like that's when the the conversation, I was going to say the party gets started again. I'm not sure we need to say that. Um, but with this, so this is a card of unity. It's everything coming together. But again, it all begins with you. So 
with the six of swords here, you're moving on, but I do feel like with this energy of the ace of cups, it's moving on to a new beginning. Um, I, I said ace, I meant to say page. I apologize on that. Pages bring in optimism. They bring in hope. And it's showing here that you've been through something. Okay, so if it's to a shift in your job, and for some of you, it may be reconnecting with the job, but it also too may be just getting into a better space in the job that you're in, but still looking for more opportunities because this is not standing still. It's also too coming out of troubled waters, but I do feel like too, this also might be part of the shift within you. There's something here with empathy with this page of cups. Um, and so maybe you too seeing people in a different light and kind of giving them some slack and saying, it's just not worth my energy to try to get this person to change. I just don't see it happening and it's driving me nuts. That's what I hear. So I will say too, though, that page of cups can be the return of the X. So I'm just telling you, Aries, if you're in a breakup, you got somebody who is gonna come back around. And I feel like they've been very, they've been sad without you. Even if they've tried to go off and do other things and spend time with other people, it, it never comes close. It's not even close. So it's not even a cigar, close but no cigar. It's neither one of those. And so I, with this, I do feel like you're moving forward. I will say too, though, you've got the card of the visionary here with the two of wands. He holds his, the world in his hand, but he wants a bigger world. So this is where I feel like you really get centered for the remainder of the year. But I get it okay, taking you all the way through 2024, all the way into this next year. And it begins with the energy of the hermit. The hermit, like I said, is know thyself, but it's also a card of success. It's a card of wisdom. For somebody here, I feel like you may meet somebody if it's about, if you're getting to a place too where you're saying, I'm thinking about making a geographic change. I'm thinking about moving where you have somebody who gives you great guidance. There, and it may even be somewhat in passing where it's not somebody who's gonna mentor you for the rest of your life, but it's somebody who has information that's going to be helpful for you for any any changes that you're making. Now, twos are about partnerships, and this one shows your life expanding, but I still feel like it all begins with you and the relationship that you have with yourself. That's really the most important relationship. And the energy of the hermit says you're connecting with your higher self. So do some meditation. Use whatever you need. If it's guided imagery, if it's a guided app. I had a, med a meditation I used to do. It was quite a series from Shakti Gawain. Um, and she was the author of Creative Visualization, a book in the 70s that was like one of the beginning books about the law of attraction. I mean, maybe not cause some of the books that we have, we know are hundreds of years old, but Anyway, um, with this Four of Swords, this is a card of taking a break, of, of getting yourself back to center mind, heart, coherence, brain, heart, coherence. Because oftentimes, too, we turn into those human doings and our brain takes a day shift and the heart takes the night. This is where you become one. So I feel like as you go out from here, you're going to be striving. You're going to be running towards your goals. All right. You get yourself set. And this is, too, where I feel like you have quite an unconditional regard. If there's things that used to kind of grind your gears, you know, that little stuff that can really get under your skin, I don't see that you even having a response to it. And it's not like the shift is negative. It's a higher level of consciousness. It's a maturity. It's a wisdom. And it's coming from you. So I do feel like with this Seven of Cups, this kicks off October. You might have more than one person who comes in who has an interest in Aries here. Um, and if it's a job too, I mentioned, I feel like you get your job back to center here, but you may have opportunities to go off and do something more, whether you're going to become an Amazon flex driver, or you're going to start a social media channel. But I do feel like with this, we got to be a little careful with it because this can be the daydreamers torment card. And so we don't want to just stand in an analysis and looking at everything for too long. Now this also too, I feel like if you're doing something uh, working with another person, if they start doing this, it's going to drive you nuts. I mentioned that up there, that things won't drive you nuts like they used to. This might. If you're getting into a situation with another person who is a bit scattered, they're not very organized, and they have a hard time just making decisions and moving forward, like they don't have good time management, I think that could really get under your skin. So if you're you know, working with somebody of a project you need to complete, anything like that, I guess choose wisely. Choose people. If you know if right from the beginning they don't return phone calls, you leave a message, I'd start calling somebody else. I wouldn't keep going back to this drawing board. 
So the Ten of Cups, though, especially with the Queen of Cups in the same month, and even, too, when we pull this page, I like the Hierophant, too. Let's just keep picking up cards. Why not? Um, with this kind of energy picking up some steam here, this is where love comes in. I told you in October you got really nice aspects for love. So with that Ten of Cups, it's harmony. It's so, I mentioned the Seven of Cups. The, the tarot doesn't lie, right? The cards don't lie. And they're here to warn you, but you still use your own judgment. So that's why I feel like if you get into a situation where you're trying to do some kind of a service or a project or something, get some kind of service done, and the person doesn't call you back, that's when I said I'd call somebody else. Um, because with the Ten of Cups, you've got bliss and harmony. And so I feel like this is so, sort of a choice. And if it's too with relationships, if you feel like somebody doesn't click right away, I wouldn't keep trying it. I'd go on to somebody else because you have a Ten of Cups coming in. It's happily ever after. It's a rainbow after the storm. So whatever it was that was difficult, whatever period of challenge and difficulty you've had, I just don't see it continuing here. And you may find that you let go of things so easily. I got it up in September too, but I get it here too where life just gets a whole lot easier. So the Four of Pentacles, to some extent, it reminds me a bit of the Emperor because they're both about being grounded. They're both about discipline. So if you maybe went out on a few too many boats over the summer, had a few too many, you know, uh, keto style beers, those still have calories, right? I don't really know what they're called, carb-free beers or whatever. Um, this may be in October where you say, I'm going to rein it in. I'm not going to do that ha um, Halloween through New Year's Day slide. I'm not doing that where I gain 15 or 20 pounds. I do get that for somebody shoring that up. And you might say, I'm doing that now. I'm beginning that now. That way, when it is Halloween, if I want to have a couple fun-sized candy bars, I'm not feeling like I, I'm the only one in on the planet who doesn't get, get to eat the Twix that tastes like Skittles. Um, I do feel like with this, you're going to say, I'm shoring some things up here. I'm being a little more discerning and disciplined on some things. And I feel like it just gives you a groundedness. This is not being that persnickety. It's not being in lack as much as it's saying, hey, I know what I have. I value my time. I value my body. I value my resources. And I'm going to make sure I treat them that way. I'm going to treat things right. So with the Queen of Cups, this also too is telling you make sure you put your own oxygen mask on first. I do feel like self-care should not be con uh, confused with self-centeredness. Now with this, together I mentioned before, you're pulling in a love interest here. It could be a Taurus that you're attracting, um, but with this, it's somebody who is an absolute confidant. You have somebody here, this is very mature energy in terms of a love relationship, in terms of a relationship that grows and evolves and is committed. This is 100% committed, okay? There's no question here. And you'll know it right from the jump. You're not going to get into it and go, ooh, do I need to start going through social media and checking over their shoulder? Absolutely not. Not with these two. So I do feel like whoever this is too, I see somebody, and I know this is getting into fall, but I keep getting like zucchini bread and pumpkin bread. So you might be attracting a baker if you know that's you. I do. I get that feeling of like that kind of, you know, fall crisp air. If in, You know, if you live in a desert and you're going, we don't get that here. You can still have pumpkin spice. All right. You can still kind of act as if. But I do get that sort of like sweater weather kind of falling in love with that. There's a nostalgic feeling around it. You know, like when you're in a college campus and, and kids are throwing footballs and stuff like that. It's more the feeling that that embodies, but that's kind of the feeling I get. So into November, good news is on the way here. Now, if you were saying you're the one with the job where you say, I'm in a better place, but I'm still looking, here we go. You've got something changing or coming in here that is going to bring in money. And it's long term, so it may be a side hustle that you develop, but look, that can turn into your main hustle. I mean, there's a lot of people that start off that way, and then it becomes more. I do feel like somebody here may be on the cutting edge of an opportunity, whether it's an app or something like that. A service is what I feel like it is. Um, and so I'd be open to those. If you have somebody who has a conversation with you that we talked about earlier, somebody who has, says, hey, I've heard about this coming into this area, it may be an opportunity, a door that opens for you. In terms of a love relationship, I just don't see this person going anywhere. Now, if it is reconciliation, there's maturity here. So this is not same old, same old immature relationship. This is somebody, and especially with the gold in the background on this night, 
it's somebody who's learned what they've needed to learn and they come back different. They come back almost as a rebirth, somebody who has changed, all right? So with the three of cups, you've got marriage, you've got engagement here. You've really got it all. I mean, I like this together quite a great deal with this one. And when we start to talk about relationships, that's pretty awesome. It really is manifesting the kind of relationship you've always dreamed of. Now, for some of you too, with a job with that three of cups, it's celebration. It's a time when you're bringing in more. And I feel like November is going to be a great month for you. All the way through the end of the year, like I said, the energy is going to be strong. This is a card, though, of appreciation. So it's like, you know, recognizing what you have, even in what seems like the smallest of gains, it's still acknowledging that it's money coming your way. It's attention. It's energy. So the Page of Swords, you've got the Internet Spy here. So I mentioned reconciliation comes knocking on the door, and in especially in November, you got it here too. So don't be surprised if you get a text. I'd say I'd wait for them, but you got to do you, okay? And I that's a feeling I get that they the, somebody here is going to get contact in November, and it feels like it took a long time with that Knight of Pentacles. But listen, you might be surprised at somebody from five years ago that you haven't talked to, and here they show up, and you're like, what the hell? This has been five years. I mean, I just feel like. The longer the amount of time it takes, I feel like the more apprehensive you're going to become of them. Um, but that's just my opinion and what I'm getting off the cards. So with this, so it's also about doing your research. So if you're planning something in terms of a trip or vacation, especially as you get into uh, 2024, if you started the planning phase in September, I feel like you're going to be doing research about that. Or if it's a move in terms of a job, you've got nice aspects for signing contracts in December. So I do feel like you do more legwork in November. But the magician comes in and says, what do you want, Aries? It's yours. Your wish is my command. And the only thing I think they could have done differently with this card is maybe at a, a magic lamp, you know, like a genie's lamp. This really is a time of you attracting heaven to earth. I feel like you're going to have great social aspects in November. So don't be surprised if you get invited to more than one friend's giving. That sort of a thing. Like you're just feeling like you're feeling the love. And so this too is a time when your good ideas are going to be flourishing. I feel like November is one of your best months. Anybody who wants to start a side business, you want to start doing tarot on Etsy or OnlyFans or wherever you want to do it. This is your month to try it. And I do feel like it brings in a lot of money. Somebody here has money coming in. And I feel like it gets exciting. Like I see somebody, it seems more metaphorical, but stuffing wads of money into their pocket. So if you're, you know, planning a trip to a casino, that might also be it. So December is real straightforward with this one. This is great communication. It's mental clarity. Those of you too, if you start doing some kind of a, 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 program with diet, nutrition, exercise, even even if you're starting it now, I feel like by the time you're in December, this is like surpassing your goals where you're going to say, my God, I'm glad I did that. And so with this, whatever you've set into motion, there's achievement here. And with the King of Cups, you've got both the King and Queen, which we've mentioned before. You've got love here, no doubt about it. And especially as it continues into December, I just don't see it going anywhere. This King of Cups, though, is truly a time when you feel so supported. You're going to feel like all the right people, the most caring, loving people are around you. And especially if you're the kind of Aries where people don't check on you or they specifically say, oh, I don't check on you because I don't worry about you. Here's where you're going to feel like there's a shift. Like, oh, people actually do not necessarily worry, but do have concern or do want to make sure I'm okay. You know, because there's something about that where I feel like sometimes there's a downside to that leadership. As I always tell you, Aries goes where other signs can't, but sometimes it's nice to have somebody at least coming up the rear to see if you're making it or not. Well, with the Page of Pentacles, you've got a shift here, so there's money showing up. I also feel like December will be a month where you sharpen your skill set a bit. You're going to get more information, but it's not just information. It's training, it's skills, it's something like that in December that's going to be really helpful for you. And especially too with this, I feel like it's going to have you not just bringing in money, but bringing in happiness where you say, I feel so good about this. The things that have happened here have been pivotal. And so with the energy of judgment, you've got a tipping point here. And this is really, truly a time where you will feel like you're flourishing. You're rising up out of those coffins, okay? It's like they breathe more life into your lungs here. 
with this where you feel on top of the world. That's what judgment does. And so you've got this tipping point and it goes back to September when we talked about having an unconditional regard. I just feel like that is going to be a huge part of this next cycle and boy does it serve you well. You know, it's not about like stomping all over people. It's just saying I can let go of the people who have hurt me. I don't have to hang on to them and carry them with me as extra baggage. All right, what else does Aries need to know about money, please? You've got judgment, double judgment. We don't see that. There's not many synchronicities between the tarot and the oracle cards, but you got it twice. Soul searching will bring inner peace for many areas of your life. Well, that seems to be the theme of this whole reading. We've got flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. And then you've got fire. Ooh, I like this. Fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. So there's something important there. I feel like this transformational cycle is going to be huge for you. All right, now we'll ask about love from the whispers of love. What else does Aries need to know about love, please? Advice for Aries about love. So three readings and one today, okay? These always are a little longer, but we're talking about a big cycle. Be supportive. Well, I feel like you have support coming in. Make a genuine effort to show you care. And I get feel like attracts like with that. Rest and relaxation is essential. You have that in September. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Boy, these synchronicities are really lining up. And get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. Well, especially with the King and Queen of Cups here, those two are nurturers. So in a relationship too, it's all about this. It's all about really understanding the other person in the relationship. But you've got great things ahead, Aries. I love you and I'll be back again soon.